one of the things that you want to try to avoid when you're in this trucking profession is allowing yourself to believe that you can't make it on any less than what you're currently making right now. So I want to let me elaborate just a little bit on um, what I'm talking about. I want to talk to you about um, your money, especially if like this is kind of the first time that you've handled um, a lot of money. And I want to talk to you about your money by talking to you about my money, right? So, so something that I've recently realized um, is that like my income overall, my gross income, um, has basically been cut almost in half over the course of, um, I won't say over the course of the last year, but like right now it's the fourth quarter of 2023. And based on, you know, the trend, the trajectory of how things have been going this year, um, if it continues to go the way that things have been going for the first three quarters, then, you know, I, I'm going to end up making um, almost half of what I made last year. Not quite half, maybe 60, 65, maybe 70 percent, probably right around 65 percent of what I made last year. And I haven't actually checked on like my P&Ls or anything. I haven't even really looked over um, my books, like where, where where I write down, you know, um, how much I make a week and how much my, my checks are gross a week. I haven't really looked over any of that. What I do know is right now, um, this time last year, I was seeing closer to about $5,500 a week gross. And now I'm seeing closer to about 3000 a week gross. Um, and like this particular week I'm on right now, it's actually gonna be a little bit less, like maybe $2,800 a week that I'm gonna finish off this week with. Um, the point is, you know, when I look at week to week right now, what I what I made week to week last year, my gross income has been cut in almost half. And that's as far as the trucking income. Um, I was looking over some of my YouTube income um, as well. I had a few other things that I did to make some money last year, but trucking was my main source of income and, and YouTube was, was the next source of income after that, the next biggest source of income. It wasn't really big or anything, it was just the next biggest source of income behind trucking. Um, and the same thing for my YouTube income. My YouTube income has actually been cut in half from last year. And it's, you know, not because, you know, your boy ain't putting out fire content because I absolutely am. It's because my channel got hacked at the end of last year. And man, that thing sucked a lot of wind. It sucked a lot of juice um, out of my channel. And the same thing um, for YouTube as it is for trucking. Based on the trajectory and how things have been going for the first three quarters of this year, if the trend continues at the end of the year, I'm going to be at about half. Um, on the YouTube side, it's going to be a little bit less than half of what I made um, last year. So overall, like I just came to the conclusion that my income has been cut in half from last year. I kind of knew that already. I can definitely feel it um, on a week to week basis, on a month to month basis. You know, I'm still doing OK, still taking care of everything, paying all my bills. But my gross top line revenue overall has absolutely been cut almost in half. From last year. Now, why am I sharing this with you? A couple of revelations that I've um, come to realize as a result of understanding where I am right now as far as dealing with about half of the income that I dealt with last year. It's the reason why I wanted to do this video. First thing I've realized is I can make it on less. You see, this August um, marked the end of, or excuse me, it's about two and a half years um, of being an owner operator and the first two years were good but even though those first two years were good I felt during those first two years that I couldn't make it on any less and obviously I was saving money obviously I was putting away money but I still felt like I couldn't make it on less and we probably all feel in our trucking career that even when things are going good we, we can't make it on less until we're forced to so like that's the that's one of the big takeaways um why I wanted to do this why I wanted to do this video. One of the benefits in a rough economic time is all of us learn how to make it on less. Even though previously we thought we couldn't make it on less. So that's the first thing. I've realized that I can make it on less. The next thing is, and you probably heard truck drivers say this before, I wasn't putting away as much money as I 
should have put away when the when the times were better as an owner operator and I wasn't putting away the amount of money that I could have put away when times were better as an owner operator even though I felt like I was putting away as much as I could it's been proven to me right now based on me having to deal with half of the income that I was dealing with that I could have been putting away more okay and this is something that you you, you probably heard many owner operators talk about like you got to find a way to put away money and a lot of the times we don't put away enough un un until we're forced to, right? So, like right now, I'm I'm forced to live on almost half of what I was accustomed to living on before, and I'm figuring out a way. Which means if I can figure out a way to do it now, I could have figured out a way to do it then, right? So, there's a word, there's a phrase called self-discipline, and if you think about what that word actually means, self-discipline is discipline that comes from within. Discipline that comes from you. See, if the only way you do something that you need to do is when external forces come into your life, then that's not self-discipline. That's discipline from some source, some other source. So, like, you got to have self-discipline. And the way that I'm, I've been forced because of external forces to make do on half of what I used to make do on, that proves to me that I didn't have the self discipline that I could have and should have had when times were better. Okay, so that's another big takeaway from this video. Here's another big takeaway that I want you to get from this video. Because I've said before, and you probably know this if you're a truck driver, trucking is cyclical, right? There's ups and there's downs. There's good economies and there's bad economies. There's good times and bad times. So right now, it's a rough time for a lot of us. But trucking is cyclical. Things will come back around. Profits will begin to come in again and go back to where they were originally and a big mistake that I have to make sure that I don't make is allowing my expenses to creep back up when my profits creep back up we call that bracket creep or income creep and essentially what it is is the tendency to spend more particularly frivolously spend more just because you're making more and a lot of us as workers, as employees, as business owners, as self-employed individuals, we fall victim to this. We find a way to spend less when times are tighter, and then when times get better, all of a sudden we feel like we have to start spending more money. The key is to live like you're broke even when you're not. And the bottom line is it's easy to live like you're broke when you are broke. It's easy to live like you don't have any money when you really don't have any money. The trick is to live like you don't have any money when you do have money. That's the real key, that's the real trick. So like when times come back around and my profits start to go back to where they were, that's the third takeaway that I want you to get from this video. Find a way to fool yourself into thinking that you still gotta find a way to keep your expenses down. Because that's where your true freedom is gonna come from in trucking or in any type of money making endeavor that you're in. You gotta find a way to keep a substantial gap between what you make and what your expenses are. And if you are constantly looking at your profits, meaning you just got them sitting in a bank account and you can see them every day, it makes it so easy to emotionally or mentally take your foot off the gas. It's a lot easier to keep your foot on that gas when you look at your bank account and you don't see no profits. Which is why some people, as soon as they get profits, they don't let them sit in their bank account. They do something with those profits. They put them in something that they can't see. They uh, invest them in some asset where the money is still there, but it's locked away and it's not easily accessible. Whereas the masses of people, we just want to, we just want to see money in our bank account. But again, it's so easy to fall back into being loose with your money when you see money in your bank account. It's easy to feel like you're broke when you look at your bank account and you don't see nothing in there. So, like, I hope you got something from me being transparent with my finances in, in this way. First thing is, you can, even though you don't think you can, you can make it on less than you're making it on right now. That's, that's probably your situation. Second thing is, you have to, it's imperative, you have to find a way to put away what you should be putting away and what you could be putting away. This is... This is how you do trucking. You want to have yourself on that schedule for the next 5, 7, 10, 15 years. When it's all said and done, you want to you have something. 
You don't just want to have memories and a whole bunch of regrets of money that you made and that you spent frivolously. And the third big takeaway is when times get better, find a way to still live like you don't have even when you have. Find a way to get profits and hold on to profits. It's not what you make in trucking. It's what you find a way to hold on to. So you got to find a way to put a, keep a big gap in between what you make, your income, and your expenses. That is where you will be able to create your true freedom in this profession or in any money-making endeavor that you choose to be involved in.